Today we're going to talk about um, people with disabilities and um, substance abuse disorders and how that those go together. Um, substance abuse is, is a very serious subject in its own merit. And then um, if you add to that the um, aspects of a disability, it becomes um, quite a challenge. Um, substance abuse is pretty widespread, but from the articles that I read, it appears that it is very prevalent in the population of people with disabilities, especially those with acquired disabilities versus someone with congenital disabilities. Um, and there are several things from an individual standpoint that need to be thought about, such as are these substances going to um, have bad side effects or um, not mix well with prescribed medications? Um, it's overall uh, harm to overall health. Um, and then also, too, if, if you've got this issue and you're working, it can affect your job. And then, you know, just the economic um, thoughts or impact of having a substance abuse disorder um, is also very significant. Um, from a vocational rehab standpoint, I would say that the substance abuse would need to be addressed and, and prior to undergoing or putting together any type of plan for uh, vocational rehabilitation. Um, just got to take it one step at a time. Um, and then two, is regards to getting treatment, you know, I, the first thing I think about is physical barriers, barriers and, and that is the case, but also too, you know, do these facilities take Medicare or Medicaid? Um, are there physical um, barriers to, to access there? Um, and, and if those are okay, then you get in there and you have someone with um, uh, sensory disabilities. You know, are the materials in available in Braille or in large print? Is there an interpreter on staff, you know, for sign language? These are things that I had not considered before, um, but are very um, crucial. Um, so there are more barriers than a person would normally uh, think of when they think about um, trying to get help with substance abuse, um, especially when you talk about the disabled population. And, um, and two, just in my geographical area, the, you see the two buildings where AA and NA groups meet and also the Family Services Center building um, for family counseling, anger management, those kind of things. All those buildings were built before 1940. So, um, and most of them are funded by grants and donations, so money's tight. And so, um, you know, I don't know if they've addressed any of these issues, but I may follow up with them and, and, and see if there's anything I can do to help. So, this has been very interesting for me, and I've enjoyed doing it. And so, as I learn more, maybe I'll share with you at the next discussion. Thank you.